Hello everyone, welcome back to Anbu's Hobbies. In today's video, we are going to look how we can implement time-based one-time password or OTP in a web application. If you are ready to boost your security of your application, stay around because we have a lot to cover today. So before we move in, let's see what the OTP is. It is a time-based one-time password. It is most commonly used in enterprise, most widely and instead of your normal email or sms it, this is going to be generated in, a, in an application and you'll be entering that and the same password will be generated in the server as well and that has to match together to authenticate you into the application so this is this provides increased account of security and also this is offline you know the password will be available offline and uh, you don't need e internet connectivity so this is also ca called as app based authentication or software token or soft tokens so we are going to use google authenticator in this video but let's uh, let's see how the totp registration works what will happen is once you complete your registration a server will generate a secret key and that will get stored with onto your user record into the database and using that secret key, the server will generate a QR code that will in turn have the algorithm and number of digits that the secret has to be gen the one-time password has to be generated, and, and a lot more details how how, how frequent the one-time password has to change, right? So all those details will be included in the QR code, and further, user will be scanning the QR code using the authenticator app that he is having right and that will allow the user to generate the OTP with respect to the same algorithm and other stuff right so this is going to match the server one time password and it will allow in right so this is the implementation uh, this is how the one time password will work so we registered and we scanned the, this is our authentication application and the server will make use of the time with respect to the user and you know when the user is entering the OTP and it generates the one-time password and it matches the one-time password and it lets the user in. This, this is what we are going to implement today and, and on a high level we are going to make use of Spring Boot and MongoDB and Angular is our front end. I'm not going to cover most of the Angular stuff because there are a lot in UI. I'll just go over the overview of UI application, but we are going to mostly implement the TOTP, you know, generation, verification. Uh, so we are going to use uh, Sam Steven uh, TOTP uh, dependency. So this is a third party dependency that we are going to make use of uh, to generate the OTP and validate it. And we are going to use of uh, Spring Security and um, REST, right? and uh, let's implement uh, the rest api for register so this is going to be the workflow so when, the uh, when this endpoint is called we are just going to check whether the user is already exist with the username if there is no user exists then we are going to generate um, you know we're going to encode the password which is coming in the uh, request and then we are going to generate the secret key which is required for the user um, the, the qr code generation and store them into the mongodb and uh, yep further that uh, secret key is going to be used for QR code generation and that will be responded back to the user right and uh, for login again uh, we're going to make use of the same password encoder and we're going to fetch the details from MongoDB validate the user details if the user details are valid and if the user opted for MFA then you will you will ask for the MFA uh, details so, so in this case we are using uh, TOTP so further they will be you know, directed to enter the one-time password and that will be validated and we will generate uh, JWT and respond back and if there is no JWT then we will generate and respond back that's what I mean like if there is no um, MFA then we will generate the JWT and respond back and this is the verify TOTP uh, API so what we are going to do is we are going to retrieve so we're going to give the username and the TOTP as an input to the uh, endpoint and that is going to retrieve the secret key from the uh, DB and we are going to use the secret key to generate the server side uh, TOTP and verify them together if they are valid then generate the JWT and send back 
so we are not going to generate the JWT because that is going to be a separate um, video because uh, that will that needs separate understanding but let's move to the code so here is the project I have uh, if you look at here I have created uh, uh, this is uh, this application has spring security implemented if you look at here the spring security is allowing um, these endpoints and we have disabled the cross and CSRF and this is going to be stateless because we are going to use JWT tokens instead of the uh, normal OPAC uh, token that is getting generated through this and um, yeah uh, we are allowing these endpoints because these endpoints we are going to yeah I didn't think we need a resource endpoint so we need to register login and verify OTP and also the error endpoint to be exposed user user details we are going to make use of and this one has username and password and um, whether they have enabled MFA or not and the uh, secret key that is going to be generated by our application uh, for the OTODP generation mm, and other details whether the user account is active or not and their roles and the roles are tied with using this enum right and further we have a custom authentication uh, provider implemented and this one is just going to validate whether the username and password is valid and just going to return us um, whether the username and password is valid or not yep that's pretty much and we are going to implement the rest endpoints here and i have also um, created a interface for user service and i didn't implement anything but i just implemented this uh, register endpoint um, like this user thing my here so it is going to return us uh, that the user is registered or not further let's go into auth controller so here is our register endpoint let me open the angular ui so here is the application um, the ui application that looks like this and once you click on register once you enter the username and password it will uh, redirect you to the OTP page and if you uh, want to register you click on register you will be seeing this page where you will be entering the first name last name email and password so email is going to be your, your username and this password is going to be uh, used for your validation and you'll be enabling the multi-factor authentication and register so this is going to call the register API so let's implement the register API 